Hello there, everybody below 10,000 here, bringing you day 32 of my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode playthrough. We are here with Pit fighting for the goddess, being a boring stick in the mud. Yes, we're taking on Pit's Classic Mode. Let's do this. So, Pit is a character I actually really like playing as in Brawl. I don't recall how he plays in Smash 4 because I just haven't played that game in so long. And I haven't really messed around with him much this time around, but I am interested to see if some of his moves are as good as I remember. All right, they took out his um his brawl yeah 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 move, which is like one was one of my favorite brawl moves of his. Uh, and they took that out in Smash Four, and I guess I just completely forgot or chose not to or chose not to remember out of just tragedy. But it's all right, because Pit's kind of just dusting off Dark Samus there. Beautiful, quick, easy work, first round. I'm not sure what the gimmick of this specific class mode is going to be, because fighting for the goddess is extremely, like, generic? Dare I say it? Like, there's not much to it. It's like, oh, you're going to, what, fight Nintendo villains? Oh, well, it's not something we've seen before in these classic modes, goddamn. So I feel like, unless there's like a, some sort of a hidden reference, I don't really know how this is gonna go. Come on. Gotcha. Simple. Once you give me an ore club, I basically win. I've mentioned this in past videos, but ore clubs are OP as fuck. Especially against computers who just don't really know what to do when they see them. All right, Ganondorf. So we're fighting villains. Okay, figured that much. Come on. Come on, Ganon. You can do better than that. Ow! There you go, and he's gone. Forced him to the edge of the stage, took him out. That's the problem with these stages where you can actually walk off the blast zone as opposed to flying off. Because you can kind of just drag people to the end of the stage and just kind of chuck them off. All right, Dark Pit makes sense. Ready, go. You know, at one point he was an enemy in, in uh, Uprising. Obviously, he became a good guy towards the end, or, well, anti-hero, I guess, if you really want to call him that. But he's not like a- he's not like an evil character. And I guess it makes sense to fight him here rather than, like, at the end, because he's not, like, a true villain. He's- he is more like that halfway through the story battle that you go through in, like, every game. There we go, and he's gone. Goddamn, Pit has a really nice kit for just kind of hitting people as they come down. Obviously, he's going to have a good air game because he's got wings. Not that they're very useful about Palutena, but he's got wings. Are we going to fight Palutena at one point? That would be fun. I'm going off on a tangent here, but I would like to fight Palutena. Bayonetta, oh, of course. Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh, but it's a Kid Icarus theme, of course. She's probably like... Like, the Medusa of... Of this classic mode, if, like, there's a reference being made. Okay, Bayo. Bayo, can you just let me kill you, please? No! Bayo? Bayo, I really just want you to die so that I can, like, continue. Thank you. That's the, once again, same problem as the Gerudo Valley stage. You just didn't see it coming. You never see it coming. 8.8, .8, thank you. Loving it. Oh yeah, and we are fighting Palutena with Dark Pit this time. It's like a training battle, I guess. Oh, I'm I'm not Dark Pit, I am Pit, right, okay. Oh, but it's destroyed Skyworld, so I guess it's implying that this is like an evil Palutena, or a Palutena who's been like, corrupted by evil. Corrupted by Medusa and Hades. Can you not order radical me, please, Lady Palutena? Yes, throw it, throw it, Dark Pit. Go on. Are we gonna maybe have Dark Pit like help us out with like the final battle of this uh, mode? That'd be nice. I like Dark Pit. 
And I'll be doing his classic mode tomorrow, so, you know. Alright, I'll take the staff. You kidding me? I didn't hit her once with the staff? Really? At least Dark Pit's doing his work. And she's gone. I don't mean that's going to get me a nice play. I think it was just a little bit too slow. But at the same time, we haven't died. Oh, oh this could be it. This could be it. But I'm probably going to choke on the boss fight. All right, let's just get through this as quickly as we can. Go. Down you go, down you go. How can you do that when Palutena is, like, not necessarily dead, but you beat her up? So you shouldn't be able to use her powers right now. And her power of flight is that power that he just demonstrated. So it's like, is this not canon? Oh, no. It's okay, Pit. It's all right. I understand that in some cases... Your speed just isn't really where 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 it should be. Or where, where you want it to be. It's okay. We're just gonna leave, you know. Take our points and run. Complete. Come on. I assume Master Hand, Crazy Hand, are we gonna have Dark Pit? Please tell me we have Dark Pit. That would really help. We have Dark Pit. Okay. We can use him as a meat shield. Perfect. Probably still gonna lose. But I'm gonna probably use my classic mode tickets actually for this. See what I can do. Alright, let's go. Oh, he grabbed me. Shit. Dark Pit, help. Excuse me. Alright, I'm trying to get... Well I, wa well, I was trying to get Master Hand and Crazy Hand, but then they did that, and that's just that's one of those moves that it's like you don't want them to use. They're kind of not necessarily bullshit, but you know, a little bit on the annoying side. I just got bitch slapped off the stage. Great. Good to know. Look at my percentage, Jesus Christ. You know, at least if I decide to, for whatever, ow. It's okay, it's okay, classic mode ticket, let's just go. Classic mode ticket, using it. I don't know if it's impossible to stay at 1.9 or 9.9, or if it's just gonna put us to 9.8, because I remember some people were saying, oh yeah, once you get once you get there, you have to beat the final boss without taking damage, otherwise, or without like uh, getting continues, otherwise you can't get to 9.9. And I'm hoping that's false, but I get the feeling that's going to be true. Oh my god, Pit, please, get out from under your goddamn thing. Oh no, that's going to hurt. Okay. They should faint at least one more time, I know that. Yeah. Oh no. I'm alive. Don't worry. Oh my god, I almost got poked. Alright, Pinocchio's nose. Calm down. Ah! Okay, he's only attacking Dark Pit. That's not a problem. I can live with that. It's Dark Pit. You know. He's used to getting attacked. Okay. We're done. I don't think I'm going to get 9.9, .9, even though by all rights I should. Like, when I did Meta Knight and I had to restart, I got 0 0.7 for that. But I imagine I'm going to get a 0 0.4 now because it's going to be like, you have to beat the final boss without dying. So that makes classic mode tickets completely unuseless for the reason why we'd need them. Yeah, exactly. You just can't get to 9.9. .9. You can't get to 9.9 .9 without killing them, without taking a, a continue, which I think is... Ah, uh, it's annoying, because it's like, you save the classic mode tickets for the final boss, and then it turns out, oh wait, they're not actually even useful for the final boss, because if you get KO'd at the final boss, it doesn't fucking matter. So, not sure I really like how that imp that's implemented, I don't like that mechanic. But it's okay, it's alright, I'll be salty somewhere else. We did manage to beat Pit's mode pretty well. And that was a, a legit 9.8 as well, so I'm pretty proud of that. So thank you everyone for tuning into that. We'll see Pitt's uh, thing at the end of the credits. I'll see you in a moment. 
All right, what is Pitt's picture? Probably something with Palutena, because he's so dedicated to her and all that. Oh no, it's just Pitt just kind of flying in the air. Kind of similar to Meta Knight's. Just kind of, you know, generic, really. I'm not going to lie. Uh, not very interesting. Uh, but, you know, love that Pitt's kind of just hanging out there. Good on you, Pitt. Good job. You did well. Okay. So, what have we gotten for spirits? Well, we have Pitt's lovely Kidicarus Uprising stuff. We've got Hitmonlee. We've got Chandelure. Yeah, I like Chandelure. One of my favorite, like, Gen 5 Pokemon, easily. We get a title theme for something, which we won't know. But, uh, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to take on Dark Pit's Created Warriors route and continue on. We're getting ever so closer to this piece of shit. Great. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my previous videos if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.